Okay, we've had our butternut squash on warm for a good 24 hours now. And you see I've poked it. It's looking lovely. Let me just show you how gentle it is. Now this is on the warm cycle of the crock pot, which only gets between 95 and 110 degrees. And with a regular kitchen fork, you can just poke it and see how gentle that is going in there. So it's going to be real easy to just cut open with a butter uh, knife, scoop the seeds out, and then we're going to blend part of it into a tasty butternut squash soup. And if you're like me, I like to just sit down and have a bowl of soup and I don't want to have to worry about having a second salad bowl or something like that. So I like to blend my vegetables in there. And so we've got some lovely leeks, which are from the onion family. It's a big, like a big giant green onion. It's a little bit hard to clean because the, the dirt does get up inside of there, especially if you're buying the organic ones, but the um, the dirt gets up inside there. So you want to make sure you wash those really good at each layer and then dice it up. I've got some carrot shredded and I've got a cucumber, which is pretty basic neutral. So these foods are going to go in there and make up at least 50% of the amount of the soup that we're going to use and make today with the butternut squash. And I'll show you how that works out here in a minute. We're going to blend it in our high-powered Blendtec, which at 300 uh, horsepower is going to blend that super good. Excuse me, 3 horsepower, but it's going to blend at a rate of about 300 miles a minute, I think they said on the video. We're also going to add in a knob of ginger, 1 cup of the sour cream. The sour cream is made with hemp hearts, and you'll see the recipe linked down below. Uh, it's from my niece, Amber. She made this up. Uh, we've also got a tablespoon of minced ginger and one teaspoon of ground rosemary. All right, so let's show you how this uh, butternut squash just flays open. All right, as you can see, I've got the butternut squash out, and, and it's hot. It's just the right temperature. It's not too hot. I can still kind of handle it. A little bit warm it's over 100 degrees but watch how easily this cuts open with a butter knife just cut 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 and it is going to just slice right open i'm going to cut that end off there where the, the top is and then you'll see as we flip it open <gasps> look at all that see this is how lazy i am i don't want to stand there with a hard butternut squash cutting my hands off trying to break it open when I can just wait until it's cooked and then scoop these seeds out okay so the last of this here just scoop it out got it in there and I've just been putting it over here in the bowl and we'll toss that as you can see I'm only going to use half of the butternut squash and it's hollow so there's really not that much squash in here but it's going to blend very nicely and give a beautiful flavor to the leeks and the carrots and the cucumber, the ginger, the garlic, and the rosemary. Okay, so I've got everything in the blender here. I started with the butternut squash in the bottom. It's going to be the most liquid concentrate, so it's going to blend first and make it easier to pull the other foods into the blender. I've got the uh, healthy sour cream. I've got the cucumber, another high water content. I've got the leeks. And then I've got just a few of the carrots in there because I'm going to have to, it's all the way to the top. I should use the bigger container. We're going to let that pulse down a little bit and then we'll add the carrots. The ginger and rosemary is also in here already. Lids on. We're going to hit it on to the soup setting. <laughs> You can see a little bit of the steam coming off there. It's nice and creamy now. It would be delightful as it is. It's just a really nice thick texture. But we are going to have to empty half of this out, add the carrots, and maybe just a little bit of water. Adding the carrots is going to get that golden butternut squash flavor back again. We're adding just another cup of water to it as well. 
We'll add that in there and give it a nice whirl. And there you have it. Delicious, thick, creamy butternut soup. 50-50 or more compliant. It's probably like 75-25. But it is delicious. Oh, my tasty word. Enjoy.